I'm like everybody. Yeah. I get an impression about people from the media. And this is the first time I met you, and there you are, this, this nightmare figure with the long hair who throws yeah. bananas and yeah. is generally uh, the next thing to instant revolution and blood on the streets. Yeah. And I talked to you for five minutes, and you're a gentle giant. How do you reconcile those two? Oh, I think, well, we, 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 are, we are all human beings. Sometimes we so a part, a part of us, sometimes we show the other part. Because, I mean, looking at your, at your politics from the outside, obviously I'm not there as an actor, I sometimes wonder, are you frustrating yourself? What you want, I would have thought any intelligent well, human I think, being Well, I think it's uh, the job of the uh, psychologist mm. to understand my ego and super ego. I, I, well, as I, I said, uh, always said, listen to your heart. What, what radicalized you? I was born in 1956. It's just after, just, just after of the, the Second World War. I, wa right. I, I, I was the second or second half generation. So, Cold War, the conflict between ideas. My mama was an armor. So I, I did feel a little bit frustrated about the British rules in Hong Kong, you know. And my, my mother actually is a very good example of... Uh, uh, was she in, in herself as frustrated, do you think? She didn't show it. She was very strong. Which bit did you pick up on? Well, I, I, it's after I, I grew up a little bit and I, I listened to uh, some of her relatives talk about her life, you mm. know. She was born in a, a small village. Uh, in Canton, in uh, nearby Changsing, mm -hmm. and she married to a guy, and the guy was a gambler, and they did get along, and mm -hmm. the the guy died, and then she went back to her family, and being the regatta for the whole family, so of course she suffered. So, and then, and then she came to Hong Kong. She came to Hong Kong. After, after the Second World War, I think, uh, and then she tried to learn the trade as a, an armor. She did success, mm. but unfortunately, she was ill, and then she met my father. Mm. I, 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 I don't think that they have love, but my mama needed to survive, so right. married to a guy much older than her. Yeah. And then she gave birth to me, and they didn't get along. Right. And then my father disappeared. So you grew up as an, as an only boy, with uh, your mum working hard? Well, since my um, mama needed to work uh, as an armor, so I was sent to a family of her relatives, yeah. and the family uh, was big. Right. They, uh, they got seven children, so I became the black the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> I got all the blame. You so that's why I, I like to read a lot because uh, I think reading is a very, very, very silent world, you know. Yeah. Nobody bother you. You betray the book. The book cannot betray you. You throw right. them away if you don't like them. What did you do when you left school? I, I was fond of the idea of Maoism at that time, you know, mm -hmm. since. Um, um, uh, my mother was uh, a supporter of of the communist regime. You mm -hmm. know, I, I think accordingly to her own experience. Right. She, I think she thought that the communist actually is a liberator. But she left Guangzhou. Uh, no, there's no, a no. bit of a contradiction there. Yeah, it's a, con uh, it's yeah. a, a bit of contradiction. Yeah. Yes, because in in one hand she fled, mm -hmm. and the other hand she watched her. Change, the changes mm -hmm. after the communist rules in, a, in right. the first few years, it, it was not bad, you know? Right. So I think she thought that she was nobody. But, you know, in, 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 in an economy of Hong Kong, but all of a sudden, China st stood up. Right. And Chairman Mao said that, oh, the Chinese people stood up. So, and, right. Yeah. And, and, but now you uh, grow yeah, up. You might say, she became more patriotic. But uh, you grew up then in, in Hong Kong and, and you became radicalized and, and profoundly against the British no, no, government. Yeah, the, story, the story was very long actually. 
And then I, I, I became a Maoist when I finished my primary school, and then I went primary to school. Uh, wow. uh, yeah. I went to a secondary school. It's actually it's a government school, and it was in the memory of uh, a governor called Kamanti. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I met those Maoists. Right. I was really, really impressed by them, uh, and I met I met uh, uh, I met a mentor there. She was arrested and and, 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 and beaten up and tortured and went to the and went to jail. He, he made his back statement in court to condemn the colonial rule. Mm -hmm. He was my mentor. And you've kept that in your mind ever since? Yes, and then uh, up until the downfall of Ningpel, uh, who were supposed to be the successor, official successor of Chairman Mao, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden she beca she, uh, he became a traitor. Right. Condemned by the whole nation, and I thought there was something wrong. So, have you you've had a, a change of mind? Or, or yeah, change, uh, yeah, change of mind. Very frustrated, and then I went along uh, reading a lot of different kind of uh, uh, philosophy and theory about uh, about socialism, and then eventually I became a Trotskyite. So, Trotsky, you you got your your trademark uh, Che Guevara. T-shirt on, failed revolutionaries. Do you? Is there something? They all fail. I mean, uh, the paradox of the uh, revolutionary hero is that when communists succeed, they rewrite the history. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when the, and then it's all fake. But the failed revolutionaries, and if they got into power. Would they have been like everybody else? I, I cannot guess whether, uh, whether uh, Trotsky will become a tyrant. Actually, there should be a genuine democracy to, to do the check and balance. We ca you cannot rely on the leaders. Of course you know what not. I mean? Yeah, no. It's who the, it's, who it's, 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 You can uh, appreciate those uh, 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 statesmen or uh, politician, whatever you call. Right. But you need to keep an eye on them. No, don't let them become a, a, a big brother who always watching at you. You watch, you know what I mean? You watch them. Yeah, vice versa. But the way you go about watch it, watching, it seems, is extremely com combative. But what yeah. about meeting them? If you need work? to compromise, yeah. you compromise. You know what I mean? If you, you think about those people who suffer, you got you got you got uh, courage, mm. courage. You you are, you will become courageous to make compromise, right? If you need to. So, would you have compromised going to Shanghai by thinking, well, if I got to talk to these guys? I don't need to compromise. You don't need to. Why not? Because they invite me. I did them bad for them. Right, but then you kind of. Kick them in the well, eye. I didn't. By going along with stuff. They stopped you knew me. They, they stopped me. Yeah, but you knew I that didn't they stop stopped. them. But you knew they stopped, stopped me. It. They checked my luggage. Right. I didn't check their luggage. <laughs> they told me they they tried to uh, 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 they tried to tell me off. And you said nuts. No, I said, well, how come you 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 you, you need to uh, assist my open letter to your senior office of officials. Mm. It's my, it's my, right. it's not yours. And what do they say? It's always too sensitive. Okay. It seems that they have a, some kind of disease, you know. Right. Like Hong Kong foot. <laughs> it's too sensitive. <laughs> <laughs>
actual external threats? To well, once I make uh, a will for myself, uh, after, just after the handover, I said I, uh, the first one is I will not suicide. Mm -hmm. So if I... I'm found in suspicious circumstances yeah, yeah, dead. Yeah. Secondly, I will not go to mainland. Mm -hmm. So if you find me being arrested in mainland, it's not true. Right. There's something wrong. Thirdly, uh, there should be a forensic, uh, forensic uh, check after I die. So you genuinely felt that you might be a target? Well, sometimes I think it's a little bit silly, though. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a small potato. There are, mm. there are many, many of big... big Do you ever funds. feel that you are actually marching to the beat of their drum? They, they want a, a Democrat like you so that all the people in the Hong Kong club and other such places have their views of democracy confirmed. That's why I, I never try to keep my mouth shut. If mm. they want to use me, I get used to it and I use them as well. And so you build your, your constituency. So are you going to keep on winning uh, elections and staying in the Legislative Council you, you, by being as you are? You, you can't be a winner all the time. See what happened to MU. Manchester United. You asked Mr. F uh, Sir Fer Ferguson. Yeah, but they did change their manager. Don't you think that you will keep on winning? Right. <laughs> but you don't have a manager. You haven't changed your manager. I actually, I, 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 I think uh, it's out of my mind. You know, uh, when you think about this guy, <laughs> Mr. Liu Xiaobo. Sure. You know, you, yeah. you take things more easier. And right. when I, when I sometimes I, I I I I read those uh, memorial of mm. those activists, revolutionary, you feel a lot easier because you know they, their life is, yeah? their life is, their life is terrible. But yeah. for you, you're lucky. You still live in a society yeah, yeah, where yeah, the yeah. rule of law prevails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my parents' fault. <laughs> 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 they they gave birth. Uh, to, to me in a place like this. Uh. Would you prefer to be in a place like that so that your protests... It's easier to say than done, you know. Mm. If I need to live in a remote area in somewhere in, 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 in China, mm. may, maybe I, I don't have any kind of uh, 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 knowledge about the world, you know. Right. So my fear is simple. Once you are there, you are here. Mm. You keep on move. You, you you move on. Right. Okay. Yeah. I Don't look back. Right. I've, <laughs> I've I've heard it said that your Legco salary helps you do things that yeah. if you were just an ordinary guy in the street, you wouldn't be able to do. Is that yes, true? Yes, certainly, certainly. You don't just live the high life. Thank you to to the voters that they you know they really faci uh, facilitate me by warming me in. Right. What, <laughs> what do you do with it? I think I use about uh, more, more or less, is seventy percent of salary to, in support of the activity. What sort of activity? All kinds. If Try you, and specify. If you, if you, if you <laughs> yeah. I, I got uh, some kind of small fund. Okay, mm -hmm. if those NGO or or, 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 or civic organisation they need money and any they, particular sort. I mean, pro environment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I got the final say. You know, <laughs> right? They cannot force me to give uh, my little money to them. Right. But w which sorts of groups? Left wing orientated, uh, environment uh, pro progressive. Okay. Okay. Kind of sort. Right. <laughs> and you feel that they're underfunded in Hong Kong? That there's no access to funds, except yeah, yeah, yeah. through the charity. Hong Kong is like it's a very difficult place. Expensive. Right. And uh, it's not easy for you to convince people to donate money to you because uh, there are too many people who do the fundraising from time to time. Sure. So if you're so small potatoes, of course, people ignore you. Right. Do you feel frustrated? I mean, I've always thought about LegCo that it's, it's powerless. It, it has a power yeah. instruction and nothing else. Well, I have already repeated for... Tens of times, 
you know that I mean maybe the final change will be conducted in the chamber. Mm. But what makes the chamber become a place like that is from the outside. It's not here. Right. Just like you buy eggs, you buy flour, you make a a cake try to you put in the oven. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that the oven made the cake. Right. It's you go to the supermarket, you do all kinds of donkey jobs in order to put it in the oven. Right. <laughs> And so who's... You know, the oven did, will not make the cake itself. So, so LegCo is the oven of Hong Kong's future. Who's well, more or less. More, more or less. You know, you who's know, buying you know, the, the ingredients? This, this, this uh, uh, LegCo is useless because 40% of my colleagues mm. are coming from their uh, functional constituencies. Right. Does that mean necessarily that they're no use? Can't they be independent-minded? Or... Even if they come from a functional constituency? Or... All they are being useful is to doing harm to the Hong Kong people. In that sense, they are useful. They are useful as a as a, uh, a rubber stamp. You genuinely don't think that their views could ever count as serious views, as opposed to just rubber stamps. Well, if if they if they don't have the wisdom to say no to this kind of uh, Nonsense. I mean, the uh, functional conditions. I, mm. I don't respect their wisdom, though. Even though they, be, they might be very wise other way. So, you have given up, then, on constitutional reform? You, you just think, because they're a blocking majority, in effect? No, keep on fighting. I, I know you're a, sail, sa uh, a sailor. If I ask one question, will you keep on sailing? You will say, yes. Right. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> and you and fighting is is what? It's not fighting. It's a self-defending. You know, to put it in a more accurate way. You know, you know the the right to choose our leader on universal mm. suffrage is mine. It's my right. Right. You know, they take some. You know, if you open your door, and and you find a few guys sitting on your sofa and open your fridge and eat your. Eat your ice cream and drink your coke. What do you th what do you say? You say, C "Come on, wait a minute. This is theft. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's go. Let's go. Let's pick, pick pick that apart a bit. Choosing a leader just isn't that simple. I mean, yes, I have a right to choose, and I I believe firmly. Some in it. some people decline. So, but so. Wait, even the people who decline, somehow that leader is not there. He doesn't emerge naked from the middle of nowhere. Leaders are picked, groomed, yeah. shuffled. All the leader, they, 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 they need to make their uh, own way, you know, by mm. leading something, you know. You know what I mean? But career politicians are career politicians. They, they spend they their not, lives... They are not the leader. They, they only need to their own career. They are not leaders. They are the leader of themselves. So how... We, leader no. is... Uh, but direct elections... Le leader is right fighting for a vision. Yeah. You know what I mean? But direct elections aren't necessarily going to produce people like that. Certainly, certainly, certainly. I agree with you. But isn't, <laughs> isn't this back to, the, the, to that Karl Popper point that actually what matters is being able to throw out the bad ones? You give them a try. I, I, know, I, I know the theory. I know the theory. Even though it's I, less about picking them than about throwing them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think his argument is very simple that, to say that, you know... Uh, don't fight for a perfect society. Mm -hmm. it, it, will, it, it could be a, a myth. Right. So you try to correct it bit by bit to avoid, uh, to avoid uh, those people to make it worse. Right. Something Do like you agree? This. I don't agree with him. You don't? He's a, he's a great uh, thinker, I think. But you would want to go for a perfect society? Why not? <laughs> Do you think you know what a perfect society you know, you is? You know, I don't know. We're on the way. You know, Mo Moses doesn't, doesn't know when he was in the desert. He was condemned by those guys who followed him. Yeah, but he had to, the assistance. To get out of Egypt. He had the assistance of a higher power. Do you? And, and Moses looked back and then he cannot go to the promised land. <laughs> 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 okay, thanks. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs>